Hello, Jennifer Tucci here. And you may ask, be asking yourself why is Jennifer in a car in the middle of a rainstorm during her slash back review? Well, it is because I just left from another city to watch Grease sing along. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> when you're in the middle of the theater, sing you along with every Grease song. <laughs> and now, I am on the way to watch a movie at the drive-in. I believe my love of movies has carried on to my son. But he's gone another way. Yes, I think two musicals, perhaps. <laughs> Yes. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'll tell you next video t video what we have went to watch, which I believe I'm gonna make another video tomorrow. But this is Slashback Saturday, so I will do Slashback Saturday. I brought everything with me, including my notes, which I usually forget when I'm at home. So, this week, oh, my son is coming in, so you'll hear some humming soon, and some talking. Hello, I'm doing my Slashback Saturday video. Okay, yes, my Slashback Saturday video. And this week, we were given... A paternal slasher. And I thought, oh, I'm never going to find one. Oh, I'm never going to find one. But I found one. Hmm. <laughs> and this, the father in this movie, scares me a lot. Yes, because um, he reminds me a little bit of my grandpa. <laughs> Yes, American Gothic, 1988. Yes, with Ron Steiger as Pa. <laughs> yes, he was the in the A Mightyville Horror in 1970. Oh, and I just dropped my box, but. That's okay. You've already seen the box. And then the great Yvonne De Carlo as Ma, <laughs> who was the great, beautiful Lily from the Monsters. Oh, and then there's a uh, Cynthia. Played by Sarah Torgov in Meatball. She was she plays Cynthia. And I said, I know her, I know her, I know her. And I did because she was in Meatballs. She was the curly haired girl who got together with the curly haired guy. Yes. The two CITs. <laughs> yes, that, that's how, that's the only reason I remembered her. And then, the other person I like in this movie is Woody, played by Michael J. Pollard, who you may remember from Scrooge. And Dirty Little Billy, 1972. Yes, he's, he is, I love, and he was in a House of a Thousand Corpses. So I enjoyed him. Yes, this movie is weird. Let me get the box again. Just, this cover is scary to me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Cynthia is just let out of a, well, let's say mental health facility. Because she accidentally left her baby in the bathtub. And he drowned. Yes, that's sad. So it kind of put her over the edge. And her friend's picking her up. Her husband, and of course, there has to be other people there to kill. Before the main character. Yes. So, it ends up six people are on their way to an island. But their plane breaks down before they get to the island they prefer. And they don't know where this island is or what's on this island. But soon they find out. Yes. They find a house where Ma and Pa live. There's no electricity, no phones, and oddly, Ma and Pa have a, like a 15-year-old, 50-year-old daughter who acts like a little girl, and her birthday's coming up. Yeah, hooray, hooray. And they are extremely religious. Yes. Pa especially, yes. Oh, but it's slow getting to the slasher part of the movie. But when it comes, it comes. Yes, it does. I think a lot of slasher fans will enjoy it. I got very freaked out by... Rob Steiger, who plays Pa. I even got... Oh, hush. I will... I will give you later. Okay. And, yes. Oh. Okay, this movie really freaked me out. I'll admit it. Now that my son's out of the car, I will admit that this movie freaked me out. Just because of Ma and Pa. It was a little clue, too close to my grandparents. Yes, a little too close. But since there was a Pa in it, I guess this could go for a paternal slasher. Or paternal person in the movie. Yes. There are people who die. There are people... Who gets slashed. One man. <clears throat> who I don't remember what character's name is. Goes into a swing. And gets over a cliff. He go, agrees to go in the children's. Because they have three children that are adults. Mm -hmm. And goes in the swing. And they push him real high. And... Then they chop off the rope, so he swings into the cliffs. Hmm. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> so, yes, uh, American Gothic. I have put it off watching it for years because of that cover. And, hmm, I'm going to keep it. But I think it will be about 10 years before I watch it again. Because, boy, did it freak me out. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will stop this now. Because, oh my goodness. Yes, it freaked me out. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a horrible video, but. I will put it on anyway, because I am stuck in the car again. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>